What is up, you beautiful people of YouTube? You have clicked on the right video today because today we're going to show you the best five skate parks in the Phoenix Valley. We're not going to do the best skate parks of all of Arizona because Arizona is huge and there's so many crazy parks, but today we're exclusively focusing on the Valley of Arizona and what are the best five skate parks. So watch us go through. We'll see you at the first skate park. We're at Pecos Skate Park. Let's check it out. This is a unique skate park because it's actually the only skate park that we're featuring today that is a part of the city of Phoenix. Something kind of ironic about uh, Phoenix, Arizona is there is like no skate parks in the city of Phoenix. They're all kind of placed around Phoenix that's in the middle. So let's check out some of the unique features that this park has to offer. All right, so the way that we're gonna break up this video, just so it's a little bit easier to follow, is we're going to break it into three categories, and amongst those three categories, there'll be three select features. And the three categories that we're going over today are the three most technical obstacles in here, or the street obstacles. We have the three most transitionally based, AKA park obstacles. And then we have the three just most unique obstacles that the park has to offer. I feel like every skate park is unique and different and there's certain qualities that the skate park possesses that other skate parks wouldn't. So those would be the three unique spots. The first spot that I want to go over today is the three technical spots. And the first technical spot that I want to talk about is this beautiful ledge right here. This ledge might just look like any other ledge, but that is why it's great is because there's nothing special about it. It's just a fantastic ledge that is also relatively low to the ground. It has nice coping that sticks up higher than the concrete, so you can do 5-0s, you can do all sorts of grinds on here without hanging up. There is nothing uniquely special about this ledge, but there is nothing bad about the ledge either. That is why it is a great technical feature, is because you can apply so many different ledge tricks to this ledge, and it's just a great time. So this is the first technical spot. Alrighty, so the second technical spot that I want to run over with you guys about Pecos Skate Park is this phenomenally long down rail. And the reason that this is a great technical spot is because it is the perfect down rail to do long combo tricks on. And what I mean by that is it is at this perfect angle where basically you keep a consistent speed down the entire thing and it allows you to really take your flat bar tricks and apply it to something that's bigger but yet not too risky. So it's just a good rail to chill on, like it's nice. Um, this rail is, I would say like 25 to 30 feet long, but it has perfect run up as well as perfect landing at the bottom. This rail right here is definitely a great feature at Pecos Skate Park and it is one of the features that makes the skate park so great. All right, so the third and final technical spot of Pecos Skate Park that we really want to highlight is the shorter version of the rail that we just showed you. This rail is basically the exact same, first off, shape, but it also has a very similar um, steepness to it. So if you're too worried about initially throwing a trick on the long down rail, there's a shorter one right here that is basically the exact same thing. So. Once you learn something on here that you want to take to the bigger rail, it's like the nice one-two step. Like you get the warm-up and then the, the actual trick over there. It's also great because of this feature. Because the rail goes flat at the end, you're able to hit it backwards and basically have just a flat rail to bank. And this is just really great for doing tricks into grind and it's just a really awesome rail. So that is the third technical spot of this skate park. Pecos Skate Park is full of unique obstacles. Obstacles that you would find at no other skate park. And the first obstacle that I want to run over that is unique about this park is this insane double kink handrail. This is a unique double kink handrail because it is one of the few double kink handrails that is a thick square rail. In most places in the world other than Arizona, kinked rails are usually circle, but this one is square. And this is kind of funny and different. The nice thing about this rail is it is the exact same rail as the other two rails that I showed you in previously, but this one is 
just a double kinked version. This is really great because there is a progression on the rails that you can really follow at this skate park. You first do it on the smaller down rail and then you're able to take it to the longer down rail and once you have it on the longer down rail then you're able to take it to this kinked rail. This kinked rail is an iconic piece of Pecos skate park and there's been a ton of scooter tricks done on it over the last decade. So this rail right here is definitely one of the unique features of this skate park. So that brings us to this crazy bowl pocket. The way this was built, it just allows for so many different options and so many ways to ride this as creative as possible. It's an entirely circular bowl. Like it's perfectly, perfectly a circle. And also another cool thing is that it allows for a gap from here to here. And this is why this bowl pocket thing is such a unique obstacle because it's really nowhere else. So our third and final unique obstacle to Pecos Skate Park is this very strange shaped manual pad. And what's so unique about it and so cool is all of the different ways that you can hit it. On one side of the manual pad, you have literally a like quarter pipe fly out. It could also just be a step up, but for the most part, people use it as a manual pad. The other way that you can hit it though is straight from a bank. So you have a bank to manual pad. Something else that's awesome about it is that there is these hips beneath. Very, very versatile obstacle that al can allow you to do so many different tricks and it is just a great feature here at Pecos Skate Park. And, and another feature that makes this park so unique. The first transition spot takes us to this bank to bank. What's really cool about this is it's about eight foot in distance and it's not too mellow, but it's also not too steep. So it allows you to get a pretty good pop and it's pretty easy to make it over to the other side. So the more advanced riders and the beginner riders can all ride this. And something that's cool is that there's two quarter pipes on each side, so you can pretty much go back and forth. This one is gonna give you the most amount of speed. It's about a six foot quarter pipe. So it's really easy to ride, hop in, and hit this and do just about any trick you want to get done. Another cool thing about this bank to bank is its actual position in the skate park. Since it's in between these two quarter pipes, this pocket, uh, those double rollers where that big bowl is, it allows you to maintain speed and use this obstacle to really flow around the skate park in a, in a fun and creative way. Coming from the bank to bank, on the other side of it is this amazing pyramid. And what's cool about it is that it is tall, but also really mellow. So it gives you a large margin to land your tricks. I've seen a lot of pyramids at other skate parks, but this one's really unique because it is, the faces of it are so long. So it allows everyone to be able to ride it. The last transition spot that I wanna highlight is this quarter pipe. Almost all the park riders all agree that this is one of the best quarter pipes in all of Arizona, maybe in the United States. I don't know any other skate park that has this good of a quarter pipe. I feel like normally this tall of a quarter pipe that's about seven feet tall is normally pretty skinny, but this one's super long. So you're able to grind the top, you're able to air it really high, and it, it allows you to really travel on all of your tricks, which makes tricks a lot easier. You can get just about as much speed as you want going into this quarter. Alrighty guys, so one honorable mention of the skate park is this curved ledge. So the next skate park that we're at isn't technically a skate park, it is Chandler BMX Park. This park is definitely one of my favorites in all of Arizona. It's basically one big bowl but it allows you to flow all of it. Technically scooters and skateboards and rollerblades are not allowed. It's uh, one of the only places where bikes are allowed in, the, in all of Arizona actually. But normally it's fine, but if you come here and someone asks you to leave, just leave. The first spot in this park, and it's in the center of the park, is this four cornered box. And what's cool is that there's hips on every single side, so you're able to hip it and jump it long ways in all directions. It's not the biggest box, but 
it allows to maintain your flow when going around the skate park. Next, we're going to look at this quarter pipe. So like the quarter pipe back at Pecos, this quarter is super long, so it allows for long slides and you're able to really travel it and you can just use it to pump when you're going around the skate park. It's about a seven foot quarter and it also has this extension sub box that goes around all the other quarters. This thing has a crazy shape to it and it has coping going around the entire thing. So you're able to grind it and stall it. The last spot I wanna to touch on is this hip. What I love about it is that both faces are super long and it's a roller, so if you case, you have a lot of margin for error. Now for this big boy. This is a super unique feature, because one, it's about five, five and a half feet tall, and it has a nice little gap coming from the quarter. And what's cool about it too is that it has coping, and it doesn't really slide, no one's out here waxing it, so you're able to stall this really nice. and. There's about a two foot platform on the top, so you have enough room to really ride off and jump in. So it allows for big tricks and simple tricks. Another super unique feature here at Chandler Bike Park is this double roller. And it's, it's really cool because up top they're not that big, but down here you can use these to air both ways. And there's also multiple gaps included in it, so this is just another spot of many at this park that is just so versatile. So the last unique spot that we want to highlight in the skate park is this very unique berm right here. And the reason that this berm is unique is because if you really think about it, not a lot of parks have berms to them. Sure you'll see berms on BMX racetracks and even on car racing tracks, but at skate parks, they're relatively rare. You're starting to see them a little bit more maybe on pump tracks, but to have a berm be intermixed with all of these other great features, it's something that's really unique. So obviously, based off of all the features you've seen so far, I'm sure you can understand that this is a transition-based skate park. So there's not that many technical features that are here, but if we had to choose three technical features, well, these are it right here. The first one being this ledge. This ledge is pretty tall. It, on me, it's like almost hip height. So this is a tall ledge for being a skate park ledge. The other technical spot, if you want to consider this a technical spot, is this uh, down hubba. The only thing that is kind of sketch about it is right where you'd want to jump, it starts going down into a roll in. So if there is a technical feature here, this would be one of them. And the final technical feature that I want to highlight is this huge A-frame ledge. This is a gigantic A-frame ledge. It's literally the size of like a house roof, like two scale, the same size. So these are the technical features if you had to choose some at the skate park. So the honorable mentions at the skate park, first one being this enormously tall flat bar. Um, this is basically designed to be stalled on from this quarter pipe, um, but if you look at it as just a flat bar, it's kind of funny. My honorable mention is gonna have to go to this massive hip slash box. It's crazy. The next park is Freestone Skate Park in Gilbert, Arizona. So we are here at one of Arizona's most infamous skate parks. This is Freestone Skate Park. And right now, we're going to run over some of the greatest features that make this park so amazing. So the first technical feature that I want to talk about right now is this beautiful rail. This rail is gorgeous. The reason why I say it's gorgeous is because it is low to the ground, it is a nice length, it's a square rail that is always buttery, like it's never sticky, and it is just a great down rail, it's a great up rail, it is just a fantastic rail. Alrighty, so the next technical feature that I want to talk about right now is this fantastic ledge. 
This ledge just may look like a normal ledge, but it is a fantastic ledge. And there's a couple reasons why it's fantastic relative to other ledges out there. The main reason being is because of the way that the coping sticks up above the concrete. And this is so great because it really allows you to do all sorts of tricks, especially 50-50s, without catching any sort of concrete at all. It's a beautiful height of coping relative to concrete height. The other reason that this ledge is great is because you have a long graduated bank up into this flat part, but you also have a really nice long down ledge down the bank that you can come up. So this is such a usable obstacle and you can hit it going up, you can hit it going down. There's so many ways you can hit it. You can even use it as a manual pad. Another iconic thing about Freestone Skate Park is its painted features. If you look around, a lot of the features here are painted colors, and this is no exception. This is the nice green ledge. Alrighty guys, so the final technical spot that I want to show you guys is this really long, curved green ledge. And the reason that this ledge is great is, like the down ledge, it has the same coping, so it's really easy to lock into the tricks. On this side, it's kind of like a little bit sketch right here, but overall, this ledge is great because it is a long, curved ledge that you can do feebles on, but it also has a little down hubba at the end that is super fantastic. So the first unique spot at Freestone Skate Park that I want to talk about is just this whole thing right here. The reason that it's unique is because it is a very nice ledge. Combined with this nipple type thing, it's it's like a nipple, but it has like a flat top to it. And it's a really great obstacle because you're able to come out of this bank right here and gap all the way up to it, as well as several other combinations. You can go over this to keep your speed. You can do all sorts of things with this feature. And it's very unique. So the next unique feature that they have at the skate park, and this is probably the most unique obstacle that they have, is this rail ledge kinked thing. And this obstacle may look like a pile of garbage, but I guarantee you it is a fun time. And the reason it's a fun time is it's been built really well. You're able to hit it like a rail because the concrete part of this is a lot lower than where the coping actually are. So when you're grinding it, your deck never actually touches the concrete at all. And it basically turns into a really thick rail. And because it's a thick rail, you're able to board slide it or do whatever you want to do. And this feature right here is truly the definition of unique. The next unique obstacle is this quarter hip. But it also makes for a ledge and a step up all at the same time. Something that's really amazing about this hip is one, it's a pretty good size hip. It's about four, four and a half feet tall. But the landing area it's just massive. So you can really hit this as fast as you can possibly go and have plenty of room to land. And the top of it's a roller, so if you case, it's not, it's not gonna be that bad. So the first transition spot I wanna show you is this pocket quarter. And it's really cool because it's a pocket. So you can hit it on this face and you can also hit it on this face while at the same time you're able to grind, you're able to pocket air. Just like everything else we've showed you, there's so many different options and things you can do while riding this ramp. Next up is the spine. Other than this being an amazing spine with a shotgun rail on top, it's connected to this massive bowl. It's honestly such an amazing bowl because it has different transitions, it has vert, it has hips, it has nice pockets to carve. All in all, it's a, an amazing bowl that you can flow really well. <laughs> Lastly is the infamous hip. There's one on this side and there's one on the other side. And they're pretty much identical, which is cool. So for everyone that's goofy, you can ride this. Everyone that's regular can ride this. And they're about, the quarter pipe itself where the lip is, is about six feet and it lands into this super mellow transition. And something that's also amazing about it is that 
this quarter right here sticks out so you even have more landing room to, to land your tricks. It's really nice. So of course we cannot forget the honorable mentions. The honorable mention for this park that I'm choosing is this beautiful down rail right here. It is one of the most famous features from the skate park and it is a fantastic rail. Like Pecos, there is a smaller version that we went over earlier, but there's also a bigger version right here. There's also this really nice rail on top of the bank to bank. It's, just, it's pretty short, pretty nice. We are out here at Scottsdale's finest skate park, which is McDowell Mountain Ranch Skate Park. They have some really cool features, so let's talk about it. So the first obstacle that we're going over right now is this technical rail. This is a great rail because it is a very mellow down rail, but it is also a little bit taller than I would say other just flat bar rails that you'd find around. It is a square rail above a three stair, and it is just a really fun time. So. This is the first spot right here. So the next technical spot that I want to talk about right now is this down rail that is very similar to the one that I just mentioned and is actually right after the first one I mentioned. But the reason why this one is nice is because it's a circle rail. This circle rail is a great down rail. It is very low at the beginning. And it's also a great up rail. Really fun thing to do is to combine this rail with the one above in sick lines that you could run through the whole top part of the skate park. So the third technical spot that I want to talk about right now may just look simple and it may not look that great but this ledge is fantastic. And the reason why it's fantastic is because you can get so much speed to it and it's a really long ledge that like the other ledges we mentioned on this video have a very good coping to concrete ratio where you're not going to get hung up on the concrete at all when you're doing your grind tricks. So this is a phenomenal ledge and there's a lot of fun combos that you can do on it. So this skate park is overall very unique because it really just focuses on banks and square ledges. There's no quarter pipes inside the skate park except for the bowl so it is a very unique skate park in general. But one of the unique features that they have here is this concrete cube that also doubles as like a Euro gap manual path. This is a really unique feature because it's great to hit from the bank, but it's also great to hit into the bank. So this brings us to the hip. It's smaller, but what's really nice about it is it does have longer faces. So you have a lot more room to do tricks and you have plenty of run up area. Out of all the parks that we've been to today, this is the only one with a actual Euro gap. And all it is, is a bank with a little notch cut out of it. It's almost like they laid the concrete and kind of just scooped it out. It has tons of run up to it, so you can get as much speed as you want. And you can also even gap up and hit that ramp. So it brings us to the last of the transitional spots. Honestly, this bowl is really cool because you can carve it a lot. It does have these really cool hips coming out of it. There's three corners that have these really fun hips. Everything slides really well, and all in all, it's a, it's a really fun bowl. So these rails are very aesthetically pleasing, which makes them very unique. I feel like when they, whenever they built the skate park, they really, whenever they built the skate park, they put a lot of thought into making these rails look good and also being functional at the same time. Another unique spot is there's this nine stair and the run up is like this great, it's not meant to be a spot, but it's definitely a very unique part of the skate park. And it lands into also this very unique area of this like, cool double pyramid type of deal. And the honorable mention for this skate park is this handrail. This is a great handrail. The last and final skate park is Tempe Skate Park in Tempe, Arizona. First obstacle I really want to show you is this hip. You can get a ton of speed into it, but it's also really tall and long and pretty steep. So it's 
honestly the perfect obstacle for spin stuff and just your normal overhead tricks. So out of all the pyramids that we've been to today, this is my favorite because all the sides are the exact same steepness and all the faces are pretty long, but it's also used the best to really maintain speed when you're carving around the bowl. So I don't know if this box jump was built to be a box jump. This pocket to bank gap. There's been a lot of cool stuff done on this over the years. The way that it's set is actually, it makes it a perfect box jump. It's roughly about eight foot gap or so. So this is a very unique spot. Also probably the most popular spot in all of the skate park. It's this really cool gapped out Euro. And it's cool because the lip of it is fairly steep. So it gives you a good pop, but also you land into a manual pad that's also really long. So you can do fakies, manuals, nose manuals, anything, perfect. So Tempe Skate Park, ooh, let me, so a technical feature that Tempe Skate Park has is this flat to down ramp. The reason that it's a great feature is because it is a nice thick circle rail that doubles as a bank to flat bar, but also as just a little down rail in itself. And this is a fantastic obstacle to do all sorts of tricks on. And what makes it cool and unique is just the thickness of the rail. It's a lot thicker than normal rails you'd find in other places. So I'd say one of the most iconic technical features at Tempe Skate Park is this infamous manual pad with this rail on top. This is such a unique feature because not only is it a flat bar out of a bank, but it is also a pristine manual pad. What's cool is you're able to use the rail and the manual pad in conjunction with each other to create the coolest tricks ever. So another fantastic technical obstacle that's inside of Tempe Skate Park is this bank to ledge up top. For some reason, they, they managed to pick the perfect slope of the bank, combined with the perfect height of the ledge, combined with the perfect coping on top. This is just a pristine obstacle, and it's great for doing tricks where you want to land fakie and roll down the bank or whatever you want to do. It is a superb obstacle. Tempe Skate Park is full of so many unique features, and this feature right here is one of the most unique. It's unique because it starts off at like a really small rail, and technically it's just a flat bar. I mean, there's a little bit of decline to it, barely anything. It starts off really low and ends really high. This is a very fun feature if you, if you want to do rail tricks but have a higher drop. This is just very unique. The final unique obstacle that we want to highlight at Tempe Skate Park is this picnic table. And it's unique because it's actually not unique at all. This is literally a picnic table. Like, they, they, when they were ordering components from the city on what they need for the park, they literally just ordered a picnic table. This thing doesn't have any coping on it, nothing. It's literally just a picnic table. And I think that's unique that the skate park choose to use something that people would normally find in the streets. So. Shout out to Tempe Skate Park for bringing something so ununique into the park that it's actually unique in itself. And that rail right there, that's our honorable mention. Fantastic rail. Same thickness as the other two rails we featured earlier. Thank you for watching. As you can tell, currently it's 112 in Arizona. We just spent all day going to five different skate parks, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're ever down in the Phoenix area, definitely come check out these skate parks. They're super fun, and you can pretty much ride all day at five different skate parks. So if you enjoyed, subscribe, obviously. Make sure you check out Outlet. Outlet 2 is going to be in Austin on September 3rd, and the rest of the information is on the Endowed website. So go check that out, and we'll see you guys there. Peace.